understanding that people are trying to take your life. You know, I'll never forget being pinned down for the first time when we were pinned down for three hours and, and, and when I hit, like, holy crap, these dudes are trying to kill me. Like, they literally, like, they don't want me to leave. They don't want me to go, to go home. It changes your perception quickly. God had our back in some areas that we probably shouldn't have got out of. No, I did what I had to do, but you know, the Ten Commandments say, Thou shalt not kill. And last time I read the Bible, it didn't say, you know, clause A, <laughs> you know, unless they're bad guys. Uh, my faith was pretty good as a child. Um, and of course, when something crazy, terrible happens, it, it gets rocked a little. When my father was killed, I was 15. It was something that I wasn't, wasn't really ready for. I mean, you can never be ready for something like that. You know, God, why am I here? You know, why'd you take him? It's been, you know, four or five years, you know, since all this has really taken place. It's still, you know, it's still there every day, every single day. If I hadn't had my faith uh, upon coming home with the struggle and, and reintegrating and things of that nature, I don't know where I would be. I went and I, I had a pretty lengthy conversation with my priest. You know, it, it gave me that, that sense of, of calmness over my soul. You have to fall back, you know, basically just, you know, trust that, you know, he's the one making the right decisions, you know, and you do what you're doing and you'll be taken care of one way or the other. I knew what happened to him happened for a reason. For some reason, God gave me the strength and we figured it out as a family. It has made me stronger in my faith than, than I was before. God will shoulder anything I throw at him. My faith in that has given me uh, you know, enough peace of mind to not just endure, but try to excel in life and understand that um, I got to come home from that deployment and some others didn't. So. Um, we're not going to you know, take that for granted, hold our family members close, uh, hold my faith even closer. You know, God was right by my side during every bit of that. You know, it gives me the ability to you know, look forward to the days to come, look forward to tomorrow. God isn't going to make everything perfect because this world isn't perfect. You have to look to Him to find your hope and to find your grace. He can't take the bad and make it any worse. He can only make it better.